Welcome to the burrow, Harry. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? But, but Beds empty, no note, car gone. Oh, Could have crashed Mom, out I... of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never, as long as I've but lived. Mom. Now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. <laughs> You ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with Dursley so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. Ow! That was truly smashing, Harry. Oh, oh. when you're ready, we'll meet you in the barn. There are gnomes everywhere! Ugh. Look, they're up in the rafters. Okay, Harry, target the little pests and flipando them off the rafter. That's got one! That was pretty good, Harry. You've got the little pests on the run. They're heading for the garden. We'll meet you out in the barnyard. Harry, we'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And watch out when the washing machine opens its door. And keep moving around it in class for Pendo when the door is open. Damage it when the door's open. That sorted it, Harry. I'd love to see that in Aunt Petunia's kitchen. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. We'll meet you in the garden when you're ready, Harry. We need to get a move on with the denoming. Mum will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look, there's one over there. What you have to do is flipendo them until they're dazed and confused. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. And chuck them out of the garden. Wow, I've got to try this. Be my guest. And remember, flipendo the gnome, pick it up, Spin it round and chuck it over the low wall. <laughs> I bet you can't throw a gnome as far as Fred did. Or hit any of the targets in the fields over there. <laughs> you need to do better than that, Harry. <laughs> You'll never beat my record. You need to do better than that, Harry. 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 It's late, boys. Time for bed. Big day tomorrow. Diagon Alley, then platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. I think you deserve a chocolate frog. Mrs. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never traveled by flu powder before and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace, he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> Tiger! 
freaking alley. It felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open, but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then he fell. Lucius and Draco Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Ah, Mr. Borgir. Mr. Malfoy, what a pleasure to see you again. The Ministry of Magic is conducting more raids, and I have a few more uh, items like this at home that might embarrass me. Items that you are willing to sell? Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Malfoy. Here you go. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig.
Harry, we hoped you'd only gone one foul place too far. I was frantic with worry. What's wrong, Ginny? You don't look very happy. Oh, powder went wrong. And I dropped all my things in the fireplace as I passed. Would you like me to go and look for them? That's so kind of you, Harry. But I think you'll need to get your things first. What was on your school list? A copy of the standard book of spells, grade two, from Flourish and Blots, and a new potion bar from Molpethers. Well, let's all go to Flourish and Blots then. Oh, and you might need this. It fell into the hearth when you used the floor powder. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. Come on, Harry. Let's go to Flourish and Blots. How much is this book? The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Miranda Goshawk. Ah, now that would be one sickle. I'd like to buy that, please. Thank you. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Well, Harry, did you get your book? Yes, Mrs. Weasley. I can't wait to try out what I've learned. Where did you lose your things, Ginny? I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Jake's. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my speller tape. So I think that must be in the Leaky Cauldron. Hmm. Magical menagerie, Gamble and Jake's and the Leaky Cauldron. Gossip. We really appreciate this, Harry. It is so kind of you to do this for Ginny. Yes, Harry. Thanks so much. Now go on. Show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. Okay.
We are closed. I'm taking the stock. Keep out. Didn't you hear me, boy? I said, we're closed now. Go away. I don't know kids today. I wonder if the noise of a spell might distract him. Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. I'd like to buy that, please. Thank you. You're very welcome to fill your potion vial with Wigan World Stamina Potion. The Wigan World's in the large cauldron, over there. of his latest book in Flourish and Blots. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? Oh, uh, well, okay then. Thanks. Let's go inside. Great Scott, is that... No, surely not. It is. It's Harry Potter! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that this term, I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter's got a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. Here, girl, take this one. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. <laughs> Let me give you some coaching, Harry. Fame is a fickle friend, and I would encourage you to be careful how you play the fame game, so to speak. Be sparing with your public appearances at first, and watch the company you keep. Harry! Why, I remember the time when I was writing my second bestseller, Gadding with Cools. Harry, we've missed the train! I believe the more exposure I got in the press, the better my career would progress. <laughs> Miss the train? Trouble was, I became overexposed. Yes! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago. And it wasn't until I went mysteriously missing for three weeks. Oh, no. What are we going to do? <laughs> Subsequently leaking the story to the Prophet. Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. That I've been captured by trolls in the wilds of Stockton on Tees. OK, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. That I managed to regain my former prominent position as the world's most popular wizard. Harry? 
Oh. I'll meet you in the courtyard outside the leaky cauldron. Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? You know, Ron, I'm really not sure about this. We've got to hit the school, haven't we? And even underage wizards are allowed to use magic if it's a real emergency. Section 19 or something of the uh, re restriction thingy. You're sure you can fly it okay? What's it look like? I'm doing all right, aren't I? Yeah, I suppose. So far. Ron, now how on earth am I going to release you? Is there some kind of weak spot on the tree you could cast a spell at?
Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Oh, it was nothing. Anyway, we'd better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Why don't you try that door, Harry? The only thing I'm not looking forward to this term is seeing Snape. Let's just hope he's left because he missed out on the defense against the Dark Arts job again. Or he might have been sacked. I mean, everyone hates him. Or maybe he's waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the Hogwarts Express. Professor Snape, we, uh, we In were... In my search of the grounds, I noticed that considerable damage seems to have been done to a very valuable Whomping Willow. I will be speaking with Professor McGonagall later. That tree did more damage to us than we... Silence! I would advise you both to make your way immediately to the Gryffindor common room. But Professor Snape, we... Go! And count yourselves lucky. If I should catch either of you out after tonight, I will definitely deduct house points. Come on, Harry! I'll meet you outside the entrance hall! to the common room, Harry. She wants the password. Of course I want the password. How am I to know that you two aren't Slytherins disguised as Gryffindors? Because we don't look like gorillas, that's how. There you are. Someone said you'd been expelled for crashing a flying car into the Whomping Willow. Well, we haven't been expelled. Look, just tell us the new password, Hermione. Oh, very well then. It's Wattlebird. I'll meet you inside, Harry. Bird. Hey Harry, Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Liberty Gibbet. Oh, and uh, watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. Hey! Liberty Gibbet. Lost him. Ah, Potter. You finally made it then. Heard about the Ford Anglia. Mum's gonna kill Ron when she finds out. I bet it was worth it to see Snape's face when you landed. Sort of. Anyway, welcome to our shop, Harry. Yes. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard weezers and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates and the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. 30 bots, every flavor beans. We're sure there's something here you'll like. Morning, Ron. Do you know what class we've got first? I heard that it's flying. You heard right. I'll meet you downstairs in the entrance hall.
Although you all apparently learned to fly last year, the apparently is directed at you, Mr. Longbottom, a brief refresher course is in order. Potter, let's see if you still have that natural flying ability. First of all, I want to test your broom control. Fly up and hover a few feet from the ground. Now, fly back down to the ground and hover above it. Excellent. You seem to have lost none of your natural flying ability. Let's move on to something a little more difficult. You see before you a course comprised of enchanted rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin. Right. Now for the examination where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. You must fly through as many rings as you can in a set time. I've created several new enchantments for the rings, causing some to move and others to shrink as you approach them. When you're ready, Mr. Potter, you may begin. You receive a D. If you want to try and improve your flying grade, come back and see me here at any time of the day. That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. has happened to Neville. He's got himself trapped behind a tapestry. And I suppose you want me to get him out. Would you? That's so kind of you, Harry. He's out here. Neville? How did you end up back there? He was looking for Trevor, his toad, and he went the wrong way. Now he's stuck. Well, can't you get him out, Hermione? No, I've tried everything. We need a severing charm. And where am I going to find one of those at this time of night? A Bology greenhouse three in the grounds. Except, to get in, you're going to have to find out how to pull up hawk lumps. If you go to the library, there's an excellent book by Professor Lockhart. That'll tell you how to do it. Okay, so I've got to go into the library on the second floor and get a copy of Lockhart's book, and then go out into the grounds and find my way into the Herbology Greenhouse to get the severing charm. Yes! <gasps> what did he say? Hurry up.
was that? Oh, no! Mr. Potter, what on earth is... Oh! What's happened here? I don't know. I found him like this. Follow me, Potter. Harry was taken to Professor Dumbledore's office. Professor, I swear I didn't! Where he came across the sorting hat. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yes, well, you were particularly difficult to place. But I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. And he also discovered Forks, Professor Dumbledore's pet phoenix. Fascinating creatures, phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads. Their tears have healing powers, and they make highly faithful pets. And of course, Professor Dumbledore himself. I know you're not the attacker, Harry, but I must ask you, whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. Come. Come to me. Let me rip you. Let me tear you. Anything at all? No, there isn't anything, Professor. Very well, if you're sure. Good night, Harry. Night, Professor. was that? Wattle bird. Harry, I thought I was never going to get out of there. Nice one, Harry. Well, all this excitement has worn me out. I think I'll head off to bed. But Hermione, nearly had this nick has been attacked, and I... Oh, I'll tell you in the morning. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Hello, Hermione. Do you know what lesson we've got first thing? It's defense against the dark arts, Harry, with Gilderoy Lockhart. I can't wait. Hmm, me neither. I'll meet you on the third floor outside the defense against the dark arts class.
Can everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. This term I shall be teaching dueling. Let me introduce you to my assistant, Professor Snape. Now, Harry Potter, if you'd like to come forward, the Expelliarmus spell challenge is through here. What you have to do is to find the Expelliarmus spellbook somewhere beyond the portrait. Once you have the spellbook in your possession, the Expelliarmus spell will be yours to use as you see fit. I suppose that Expelliarmus spellbook is down those stairs. Well done, Potter! Forty house points for Gryffindor! Now I'd like you to use the Expelliarmus spell you've just acquired in a real duel. Mr. Malfoy, come over here. Let's see what you can make of the famous Potter. First duelist to gain five points wins the duel. Very well then. One's at the ready. When I count to three... Scared, Potter! You wish. One. Two, three.
sorry. Why didn't you tell us? I'm a what? A parcel mouth? You can talk to snakes. So? Does it matter? It matters, Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. That's why the symbol of Slytherin House is a serpent. Now the whole school's going to think you're his great, 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 great grandson or something. But I'm not. You'll find that hard to prove. He lived about a thousand years ago. For all we know, you could be. Anyway, we've got Quidditch practice next at the Quidditch Stadium. I'll meet you in the entrance hall, Harry. Listen up, you lot. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. I'll start with the Seeker. Over here, Potter. Now watch carefully. That's good, Harry. Flying through each ring makes you go faster and increases the magical charge in your broom. faster, you'll see the magical charge in your broom has increased too. You can see this in the trail the broom is leaving in the air behind you. The magical charge in your broom is at maximum. You can now get that extra boost of speed. Your hat. Don't let it hit you or it will reduce the magical charge in your broom. The heart too. Time to grab the snitch and you'll catch it. Okay, you know the score. One opposing seeker, two bludgers, and two opposing beaters to contend with. All you have to do is catch the snitch. That was perfect, Harry. You received the highest grade. A distinction. And because of that excellent performance, Harry, here's a brand new Nimbus 2000 to take with you. You'll be able to fly anywhere around the grounds, but try not to crash into too many of the towers. If you want to try your hand at Quidditch practice, Harry, just come over here.
Hello there, Hermione. What's the matter? Malfoy showed up while you were practicing in the Quidditch Stadium. He's been made seeker. Half through his dad brought his way onto the team with a whole set of Nimbus 2001s. Hermione said something about it and he called her a filthy mudblood. A what? A mudblood? It's a really disgusting name for someone who was born of non-magical parents. There are some wizards, like Malfoy's family, who think they're better than everyone else. Anyway, it's a horrible thing to say. If it hadn't been for Hagrid showing up, I'd have cursed him. He's not worth the trouble, Ron. Well, I suppose you're right. Anyway, I'm tired and I'm off to bed. Let's go. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. to go to the library and find a copy of Hogwarts A History. Why do you want it? So we can find out about the legend of the Chamber of Secrets, of course. Of course. I suppose you want me to sneak out to the library again. Could you? Oh, thanks, Harry. The only thing is, you'll need to get to the restricted section this time. Go down to the second floor and just past the entrance to the library. There's a portrait that will let you in. The password is Bibliophile. Right. Second floor, past the library, portrait. Got it. Thanks, Harry. Uh, and watch out for the prefects. Hermione said that I had to go past the library to find the portrait to the restricted section. Right. Somewhere around here is a portrait. Hey, you! <gasps> ah, Mr. <gasps> Potter breaking the rules. Ten house points from Gryffindor. <gasps> Hermione said that I had to go past the library to find the portrait to the restricted section. Right. Somewhere around here is a portrait. Huh? Huh? Bibliophile. Where did he go?
Here you go. Brilliant. Thanks, Hedwig. How on earth do I get out of here?
How on earth do I get out of here? Little bird. Harry! I managed to get Hogwarts a history, but it wasn't easy. Slytherin ambushed me. Crikey! Can I have a look at the book, Harry? Here you go. Here it is. I'll read the passage out. Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by the four greatest witches and wizards of the age. Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw and Salazar Slytherin. For a while, the four founders worked in harmony together, seeking out youngsters with magical abilities and bringing them to the castle to be educated. But a rift began to grow between Slytherin and the others. Slytherin believed that magical learning should be restricted to all magic families and that no students of non-magical parentage should be admitted. Eventually, a serious argument on the subject caused Slytherin to leave the school. He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. According to the legend, Slytherin sealed this chamber of secrets so that no one would be able to open it until his own true heir arrived at the school. The heir alone would be able to unseal the chamber, unleash the horror within and use it to purge the school of all who were unworthy to study magic. Blimey! I always knew Salazar Slytherin was a twisted old loony, but I never knew he'd started all this pure blood mudblood stuff. It sounds to me like the horror within mentioned in the book is a monster that only the heir of Slytherin can control. But what kind of monster? The kind of monster that can petrify a ghost? All this talk of monsters has given me the creeps. I'm off to bed. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Morning, Ron. It's Transfiguration first thing, isn't it? Yeah. First floor. I'll meet you there. Hello, Harry. People are saying you're the heir of Slytherin. Is it true? And did you really order that snake to attack your classmates? None of it's true. And I didn't order the snake to attack my classmates. I told it to leave them alone. I'll believe you, Harry, though thousands wouldn't.
morning. Today we shall learn the transfiguration spell known as avifors. Avifors will allow you to transform small objects, such as the parts of this statue, into birds. This is achieved like so. Avifors! You will now see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Avifor's challenge. Mr. Potter, come forward, please. Yes, Professor? The Avifor spellbook is located on the other side of this crawl space. Find it, and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Yes, Professor. Off you go. Maybe I should use Lumos.
A superb job, Potter. Forty house points for Gryffindor. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Nice one, Harry. You did well there. Uh, and good luck with the Quidditch match. Quidditch match? There you are, Potter. Haven't forgotten our very important match against Hufflepuff, have you? I'll meet you outside the stadium.
to the first match of the season. Hufflepuff versus Gryffindor. I'm sure everyone's been looking forward to this match. I know I have. A great save by Gryffindor. The passing's really accurate today. That was a great catch by Gryffindor. Well played, Harry. I suppose you're worn out after that. I am. I'm going to bed. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. You're not going to believe this, Harry. Hermione wants you to meet her in the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She says she's got a plan to find out who the heir of Slytherin is. Really? Yes. Now hurry up. Girls' bathroom, second floor. Isn't that supposed to be haunted? Hermione? This is a girl's bathroom. He's not a girl. No, sorry, Myrtle. I just wanted to show him how uh, nice it is in here. I wish people would stop interrupting my peace and quiet. I do have feelings, you know, even if I am dead. So what's this plan of yours, Hermione? We need to find out who the heir of Slytherin is so we can discover who wants all the students with non-magical parents out of Hogwarts. Well, it's not me. I hope. Do you think it could be Draco? Well, if it is, how do we prove it? One of us needs to get Malfoy to answer a few questions without him realising it's us. That's what I was thinking, which is why I've been making a Polyjuice Potion. What's Polyjuice Potion? It transforms you into somebody else. One of us could change into a Slytherin, and Malfoy would probably tell us anything we wanted to know. I managed to sneak a bit of Goyle's hair during Transfiguration class and mix it into this. One sip, Harry, and you'll look just like Goyle. Oh, great. Oh! Harry! Are you okay? No, I'm fine. Try and find Malfoy. He's usually lurking about the dungeons this time of night.
Ah, Goyle. Did you know that Draco's looking for you? Come on over here, lard boy. I haven't got all night. You know, Goyle. I'm surprised the Daily Prophet hasn't reported what's going on here. I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush it all up. He'll be sacked if it doesn't stop soon. Father's always said old Dumbledore's the worst thing that ever happened to Hogwarts. He loves that non-magical lot. A decent headmaster would never have let that jumped-up Granger mudblood in. And as for Saint Potter, the mudblood's friend, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think he's the Slytherin heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. Oh, you must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I have it, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco, I'd best be going. Going where? Uh, to the hospital wing. Yes, that's it, the hospital wing. I've got a stomachache and I need to get something for it. Get going, Goyle, before your fat belly explodes. I'd better get out of here and fast. This is a restricted area, Potter. 20 points from Gryffindor. Well, it isn't him. Malfoy's not the heir of Slytherin. Oh, he must be. Who else could it be? I don't know, but it's got to be someone who was here at Hogwarts 50 years ago, when the chamber was last opened. Well done, Harry. You did a great job. See you in the morning. Night, Harry. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. today. It's Charms with Flitwick. I'll meet you on the second floor.
morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve us in learning how to cast the appositely named Bluebell Flames. The proper incantation for this charm is Incendio. You will now see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Incendio Challenge. Mr. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. The Incendio Spellbook is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you've managed to collect it, the Incendio Charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do you understand, Mr. Potter? I do, Professor. Very well then. Off you jolly well go.
excellent, Potter. Forty house points to Gryffindor. That is all for today. Class dismissed. There you are, Potter. Just thought I'd remind you we've got a Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. I'll meet you outside the stadium. Hurry along. to the Quidditch Stadium at Hogwarts for the next match of the tour. Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor. The two teams play with a similar style, but Gryffindor probably has an offensive edge. That's a goal for Ravenclaw. Good catch by Ravenclaw. How good was that set? The quaffle caught by Spinet. A great save by Gryffindor. Gryffindor scores! Nice catch there by the Gryffindor chaser. The Ravenclaw seeker storms into the lead. Spinet caught that brilliantly. The storms into the lead. Good catch by Ravenclaw. Good catch by Katie Bell. The clock was passed. Johnson must be hurting after that tackle. A dreadful performance by Potter. That tackle on the Ravenclaw chaser was very hard. That was a great catch by Gryffindor. Ah, that was a really heavy tackle. The crumble caught by Spinet. Gryffindor wins! Ravenclaw will really be kicking themselves after that performance. What a match! Those Ravenclaws didn't know what hit them! Anyway, I don't know about you, but I'm worn out just from cheering. I'm going to bed. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Hey, Harry, what do you think of this? I was on my way back to the dormitory when I heard moaning Marta in her bathroom. Apparently, someone had tried to flush it down her toilet. <laughs> she was in a right state. Careful. My dad told me some books can be very dangerous. Well, we won't find out unless we look at it. It looks like an old diary. Belonged to T.M. Riddle. Hang on. I know that name. T.M. Riddle got an award for special services for the school 50 years ago. I know that because Filch made me polish his shield about 50 times in detention. Well, whoever he was, he didn't write in it. It's completely blank. I wonder why someone wanted to try and get rid of it then. Weird. Harry went to bed before anyone else in his dormitory that night, mainly because he wanted to examine Riddle's diary. He sat on his four-poster and flicked through the blank pages until... Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. I'm at Hogwarts and horrible stuff's been happening. Do you know about the Chamber of Secrets? Of course I know about the Chamber of Secrets. 
In my fifth year, the chamber was opened and the monster killed a girl. I caught the person who'd opened the chamber and he was expelled. I can show you if you like. I can take you inside my memory of the night when I caught you. Okay. Harry sat entranced by the memory Tom Riddle showed him. Evening, Hagrid. What are you doing down here, Tom? It's all over. I don't think you meant to kill anyone. But monsters don't make good pets now, do they? It never killed no one. Come on. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. No! It was Hagrid, Ron. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Go tell Hermione. I've got to go and see Hagrid. Bad business, Hagrid. A very bad business indeed. Things have gone far enough. As chairman of the school government, I've simply got to act and send you away. Away? Away to where? No, not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. A dreadful thing, Dumbledore. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my removal, Lucius, I shall, of course, step aside. No! However, you will find that I will only truly have left this school when none here are loyal to me. You will also find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Of course, if anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'll lead them, right? That's the key to the whole thing. And that's all I'm saying. Come along now, Hagrid. We don't want to keep the Dementors waiting now, do we? All right, I'm coming. Is it Hagrid? Not exactly, but I'm a friend of Hagrid's. 
Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. Hagrid's in trouble. That's why I've come. In trouble? They think up at the school that Hagrid's been setting a... a something on students. They've taken him to Azkaban. But that was years ago. Everyone thought that I was the monster that dwells in the Chamber of Secrets. They thought Hagrid had opened the chamber and set me free, which was why he was expelled from Hogwarts. So you didn't come from the Chamber of Secrets? No, I come from a distant land and Hagrid cared for me. The girl who was killed 50 years ago was discovered in a bathroom and I have not seen any other castle apart from the cupboard I grew up in. If it wasn't you who killed that girl, then what did kill her? We shall not speak of it. I'll just go then. Go? I think not. But, but... I cannot deny my children fresh meat.
the spiders. What's Hagrid thinking? You're lucky to be alive. We now know that Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. He was innocent. Wait a minute. Something Aragog said. Ron, that girl who died. Aragog said she was found in a bathroom. What if she never left the bathroom? What if she's still there? You don't think? Not moaning Myrtle. It would make a lot of sense if it was. Oh, in all the excitement I forgot. Someone's been up to the dormitory and taken the diary. What? I went to look for Hermione, but I couldn't find her. When I got back to the dormitory, the diary was missing. What? Afraid so. But only a Gryffindor could have stolen it. Nobody else knows our password. Exactly. Anyway, I'm off to bed. See you, Harry. See you, Ron. And thanks for rescuing me. You're my best friend. It's my job. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Oh, I must have slept in. Oh no, the Quidditch match. Jordan here, commentating on what might turn out to be the game of the year. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. There's no love lost between these two teams. A great save by Gryffindor. Superb goalkeeping. The change of the pass in the quaffle. Malfoy's been hit by a bludger. Oh, Bell caught that really well. Chase the puzzle. 
It is with great pleasure that I present the Quidditch Cup to Gryffindor. Oh, it's such a pity Hermione didn't get to see it. What? Hermione wasn't at the match? No. I haven't seen her since she ran off this morning. I don't know. She's probably got her head stuck in a book somewhere. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. just like nearly headless Nick, outside moaning myrtles, stiff as a board. McGonagall told me that they were doing everything they could to find Ginny. So, I went to see Hermione. I found a piece of paper in her hand, a page torn from an old library book. That must have been what she was doing before she was attacked. What was the page about? It was all about basilisks. They're giant snakes that live for hundreds of years. Apparently, a basilisk can kill people by just staring at them. Anything else? Yeah, spiders don't like them. They run away when a basilisk is near. And there was something else. Hermione had written the word pipes on the page. Pipes? Pipes. That's all, just pipes. Ron, this is it. This is the answer. The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk. A giant snake. That's why I've been hearing the voice and nobody else has heard it. It's because I understand parcel time. Harry, do you think Ginny might be in the Chamber of Secrets along with that flipping big snake? McGonagall said they searched everywhere in the castle, but no one knows where the chamber is. We've got to find her. Okay, so what we need to know is how the basilisk has been getting round the place. A giant snake. Surely someone would have seen it. Pipes! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing. I've been hearing the voice inside the walls. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's a bathroom? What if it's in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom? Okay, so what do we do? The place is crawling with prefects looking for Ginny. I'll go first. You join me in Moaning Myrtle's on the second floor. It's you, Harry Potter. What do you want this time? To ask how you died. 
Oh, it was dreadful. It happened right here. I'd hidden because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. I was crying when I heard someone come in. It was a boy, and he began speaking a different language. I went to tell him to go to use his own bathroom, and then I died. But how? I just remember seeing these great big eyes. Where exactly did you see the eyes? Over there, by the sinks. Harry, say something! Something in parcel tongue! But go on, Harry. Okay then. Uh, open up. English. <sighs> I'm going down there! Oh! I must be miles under the school. She's still alive, but only just. You've got to help me, Tom. We've got to get her out of here. There's a basilisk and it could be along at any moment. The basilisk won't come until it's called. Let me tell you about the real reason Ginny's like this. She's been writing in the diary. My diary for months. I grew stronger and stronger on a diet of her deepest fears until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the Serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and nearly had this nick. No! I'm afraid so. Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. You framed Hagrid! Yes. But you, Harry Potter, how is it that you managed to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Why do you care? Haven't you realized yet? I... I'm Lord Voldemort, the greatest sorcerer in the world. Sorry to disappoint you on that, but the greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore's been driven out of Hogwarts by the mere memory of me. He's not as gone as you might think! To business, Harry. I'm going to teach you a little lesson. Let's match the powers of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. Kill him!
die, Harry Potter. <laughs> You're dying, Harry. Let's get out of here. Harry! Ron! Hermione! How are you feeling? A lot better now, thanks. I'm really disappointed. With all that's happened, Professor McGonagall has cancelled this year's exams. I was really looking forward to doing all of that revision. As you can see, Harry, Hermione's made a complete recovery. Anyway, did you know that the House Cup is about to be awarded? The presentation's in the Great Hall. Yeah. I hope we've got enough house points to beat Slytherin. I'd really love to see Malfoy's face if we managed to do it two years in a row. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. We come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. Harry told them everything. For nearly a quarter of an hour, he spoke into the rapt silence. He told them about hearing the disembodied voice. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How he and Ron, following a hint from Hagrid, had followed the spiders into the forest. That Aragog had told them where the last victim of the basilisk, 50 years before, had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the Basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. But how did you all get out of there alive? Well, it had a lot to do with loyalty and friendship. And courage. <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that. Y yes, and courage too. Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as the 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary, and that diary had enchanted Ginny. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. 
And as for Harry, well, once again, he truly was the boy who lived.